Well, it's about resources, really. I mean, it takes more resource to create content from scratch. Um, and we didn't really have teams in place that could do that. But we did know people were already writing on the subject of KM. So um, it was uh, great to be able to pull those in um, automatically into the portal. And then, I suppose, supplement it with um, the thought leadership that we could write, that we did have the resources to write or commission ourselves. So, um, yeah, I guess it was about time and money, really, and, and an easy way of doing things. Yeah, and also we realised that there is a lot of people out there, thought leaders, who would actually like to um, have their work published. So they really needed a, um, a helping hand um, in, in that regard. Because I guess our strength is like, you know, the, the track record of the market and our, and our database. So for the portal, um, yeah, we, you need to make sure that what you're bringing in is, is stuff that's about KM. So you wouldn't want to pull in a blogger who was blogging about lots of topics other than KM, which they might do. I mean, it's okay, I guess, if a blogger has like the odd personal post about a week, the weekend or whatever, but it's going to clutter up the, plat the portal if you've got sort of bits about sport in between. So that's so we had criteria like that. Um, it's just really important to focus on curation rather than aggregation, which is why we published criteria our criteria to show that we were actually adding something here it's not just us pulling in random stuff we've chosen people based on you know that we think they're experts we think they're good we like what they say and, and it's mostly about km um that's yeah those were the kind of criteria yeah and it also helps that we have the setup as a publisher we have editors some editors uh, yeah. already in house so that's uh, the, the, the plus sign for having, yeah. having a publisher behind curation